Hello and welcome to Grace in Australia Diecast Salvage. Videos on this channel is directed to the adult community as it contains strippers, so good it'll take the paint off diecast vehicles, nudity of paint stripped diecast vehicles, and a man playing with his tools. Adult supervision advised for those under 16 years and age. So come along, enjoy what's coming up. In today's episode, we're going to be dealing with a matchbox number five, Route Master bus. As you can see, she's um, been loved by somebody. Loved by somebody so much that the wheels have fallen off. Anyway, we'll bring it over to the workbench and we'll take a closer look at it. See you in a moment. Over here at the workbench, we have our Route Master, made in England by Lesney, the number five. As you can see from here, no axles and the items that held the axles in, the hooks, they're busted front and back. There's no interior with this bus and by the looks of things it uh, has been overpainted with a rattle can with the pooling of the paint on the on the panels there. Anyway, so let's get cracking as to pulling this thing apart. Now there's no rivets in this. There's a tab in the back and a tab up the up the front here. So it's we just give it a bit of a squeeze and there's our there's our base. That's it. She's apart. But that, as I said, there's no interior, there's no driver. I haven't decided whether I'm going to. Mm. No, this will be this will be a custom. I'm going to turn this into a mobile home. That's what I'll do with this. And I will, yeah. So I'll, the I'll I'll paint it in colours similar to the previous owner. In that the main body here will be yellow, and we'll make the base here black. And uh, I do have a set of wheels for it. Now, if I ha if I haven't thrown, uh, there we go. I I. Haven't thrown the vehicle away, and I'm using a. I'm going to go with these wheels from this mi mi micro machines. So we shall see whether we can make them fit, as I think she'll go nicely in the wheel arch. the right size but our widths I think we need to well we can do one of two things we can either cut the axle and put a little tube in we've got to put a tube in there anyway and have got have the tires actually sit in the wheel worlds um, yeah, we have to go that way. Got no choice. Got no choice because of the front. There we go. Decisions made on the fly. So these are the wheels that we're going to put on the bus. And we'll go from there. All right. So up next is our our room, our special room, that has strippers. So we'll catch you over with the strippers. See you then. 
So are you ready? Our strippers are. So I don't know how, how good this yellow paint's going to come off. But we shall see. We have our black working nicely. Some yellow has come off. But um, yellow is usually a difficult colour to, to get out. We'll see we can't bring some reinforcements in. Alright girls, girls we need some more, we need some more, so here come some reinforcements. bit of a, a stir. See how, how good the bus was? It even fell, it, it fell over. That's how, how delightful the, the, the girls are, how strong they were. They were able to turn the bus over. And I can't get and I can't get it to stand up again. There we go. Now we're standing up again. So we'll need to wipe down our spoon. Put our container away and let's see what's what's a happening. Okay, it looks like the it is coming off. But alright, we won't but bore you too much longer. And um, I'll I'll keep watching the girls while you guys will be back in a tick. And we're gonna have a naked bus. See you with the bus in the nude. And here is our naked bus. Our base and the top half. So we're going to use our wire tool just to, to make it shiny shiny we can so and where we can get into may need to get the steel wall for for in there and the rest we can do here Turn that one that way. There we go. With our base. I'll work on that a little bit more because I've still got to cut. So I'll have to cut the um, the rest of the axle holders out. So. Just do one side of the bus, the rest of it I'll do off camera. And we'll cut, we'll come back when she's uh, shi completely shiny shiny. See you in a moment. Well, that's about as shiny shiny as uh, we'll get it. It has quite a number of pits in it. If, if you can see where my thumb is, it has some pitting there. But I'm not going to smooth that over. That's going to be part of the characteristics of this particular bus and these dark spots that you see up the top here that is part of the mixture as to when they when they made this particular bus so it may have been just where she got a bit cold in the mix so we don't know where in the casting it was where it start middle or end so consequently we, we have these dark patches on there again this side is a it's fairly pitted 
it's ass or its backside isn't isn't too bad and the the front the front itself there isn't too bad and of course the driver's cab is there now I've already ground down what was left of the of the axle holders I've ground them down because I'll be using some tubing to uh, to make an axle tube so that is the next part that I'm about to do um, I'll do that off camera it's just a little bit easier and um, We'll take the other car apart to see and have a look at the wheels. Catch you then. Okay, here we are. We have our axle tubes in place. Just waiting for the super glue to dry off. I'm not putting any baking powder on it. I'll just clean up this little section here on the tubing. And um, we shall put them in the paint. So... All right, so let that dry 100%. Next time you'll see this bus, it will be in primer. So we shall move on to our car with our donor wheels. Nice thing about it is, if it stays in my hand, is that uh, it has some screws. So I'll take it apart off camera and we'll come we'll come back in a moment. I'm gonna try something that uh, I haven't done before is actually paint this on the with no primer onto the casting and I'm using this SMS premium mango orange. So let's see what sort of damage I can do. See if I can bring it bring it into into shot for you. Well, it would have probably would have worked better if I used a if I did use a, a white primer on it, but uh, that's all right. Like I said, this is an experiment. If it comes out darker, it comes out darker. Paint comes out nicely though on the on the out of the airbrush. Let, let that um, dry up and we'll probably put, put another couple of coats on it and after that we shall do the assembly because we've already got the base here in, in black so we just need to put the tyres in all right catch you in a moment okay another way that you can um, Put axles in or glue axles or glued wheels to items is going to put that axle through the axle shaft then with a toothpick just dab the end in some super glue and then dab the other end into the center of your wheel so you've got a bit of capillary action into the center and then you fit it onto your 
onto your axle. And there we have our wheels. As you can see that they're all they're all turning. So next stage is assembly or reveal. Whichever comes first. Hooray. Off. Remember again to take a before photo of the number number five bus from Matchbox. She came with uh, no wheels, no axles. Very much a chip paint and it looks like it was painted with a spray can. And this is how she looks like now. The bus has been completely stripped, repainted, black and mango orange as opposed to yellow. We've given it some new tyres, we've given it new axles. So she's ready to go on a road trip again. She is a roller, which makes her very good on both sides. So she's ready to go on it. Another journey. I'd like to thank my subscribers and the viewers to the channel for coming along and watching what this Aussie Butler does with some of his cars. So, we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.